What you see here is a common Paraguayan rock street, El Empedrado. I wanted a bike down here that I didn't have to spend a whole lot of money on and uh, that didn't have really skinny tires but wasn't a mountain bike either. So I had to bring it down from the United States and so I decided to make a, well, not a foldable bike but a suitcase bike. I started with an Austro Daimler frame that I had found in a dumpster years before, part of my collection in the basement. Added a Schwinn seat from Walmart, an upside down bullhorn bar, little mirror Daddy. in a really bad Daddy. position. It has my favorite ever seat post quick release on it. There's a view of the fitting real quick, another view of the lower fitting. It uh, came down here as a fixed gear. I've recently converted it to a single speed. It's my last video, but that's the basic bicycle. Fixed gear, one front brake, no rear brake with a flip-flop rear hub, 36 spoke wheels, and some uh, Mavic rims. Pretty good stuff. This bicycle got to Pittsburgh somehow from two-wheel transit in Endicott, New York, near my hometown. The red paint is original, and all the lugs are really nice, and they seem to be outlined with more paint. The black paint is after the addition of the couplers. This is a view of the rear dropout. The bike isn't that tall for me, because I'm 6'5", but it does have a 61 centimeter top tube, which is really what I look for in a bicycle. The fork is pretty cool. Seems to have been all chromed and then painted over, and you can see the paint chipping off and the chrome showing up underneath, but the details on that thing are pretty nice. It's pretty narrow. Doesn't fit more than a 700 by 42, but I like it. So a few years ago, Eastwood, offered some roll cage couplers that were really small diameter. I think these are one inch. So when they realized that they weren't selling because nobody sells them, they sold them to me for a pretty reduced price. Down tube is one and eighth, so it's a little bit smaller, but they're really nice couplers. They are, of course, English heads and English threads, so I had to bring down my own tools. Availability and quality of tools isn't so good, so this is the set I brought down. One of them is specifically for couplers and the other just generally for the bicycle. It's a pretty simple process to take the whole thing apart. Just unscrew those two screws on each of the couplers and the whole thing falls apart and it's so big that it's difficult to manage but it's not too bad. These are not the original screws. I replaced them during the brazing or after the brazing process and put lock washers on them. This is after disassembly this is how they lock together. It's the top joint. Here's the bottom joint. You can see the difference in diameter of tubing. So I spent way too much money on the suitcase and I really did have to do a lot of disassembly to get that bicycle in the suitcase. But this is how it looks, kind of. You have to disassemble pretty much everything. Take the cranks off, the wheels, the seat post, the handlebar, everything. Uh, the pedals also to put that in the suitcase, but it worked pretty well if you're not traveling a whole lot and You have enough time to put the thing together when you get there. It's not bad at all I still have the suitcase sitting in the attic. I still have this bicycle down here in Paraguay and uh, I've done some modifications to it runs pretty well needs a new bottom bracket got to install the headset but uh, Really like it runs pretty well on these roads down here more videos on this bike another suitcase bike, and other ideas for couplers in the description below.